Cars come with some pretty bonkers features these days. They can change shape, change colour, turn themselves into furniture, power your house, and some of them can even fly. I've put together a load of the coolest car inventions and features from a range of manufacturers that I think are the very best. I bet you've never seen some of them before. Anyway, I'm Matt Watson, and this is the Car Wow list of the coolest car inventions ever. Buy, sell, car, wow. Spraying a car costs thousands of pounds and it can take weeks. Wrapping your car is a much quicker and cheaper way to change the paint colour. But this special BMW iX can change colour instantly. It's covered in thin panels containing e-ink. That's the stuff you get in lots of e-readers like the Amazon Kindle. It looks like a normal painted car, but electrical currents cause the body panels to change from white to black. Each section is controlled separately so it can display stripes, patterns and even animations. And these e-ink panels use barely any energy so they wouldn't affect the iX's electric range. This car was even listed as one of Time Magazine's best inventions of 2022. But there is a catch. There always is. This sort of paint will probably never be legal on a road car. After all, the colour of your car is linked to the registration details and it would be pretty easy to escape from the police if you could just change the colour of your car. There are some EVs that can do things you've never been able to do in a production car before. GMC has already made the Hummer EV with a bizarre crab walk feature. This lets you steer all four wheels in the same direction so you can crab around obstacles. <laughs> I just put this one with crabbing. Anyway. Let me carry on. You could technically fit this feature to a normal petrol diesel powered car if you really wanted to, but there's an even weirder feature that's only possible in some new electric cars. Tank steering. BMW has teased a future M Division prototype that comes with four electric motors and it can use them to drive the wheels on each side in opposite directions. This makes the whole car spin around in a perfect circle, just like a tank. Now you can't do this with cars that have normal internal combustion engines as the wheels across an axle have to turn in the same direction at the same time. And Mercedes is working on a similar feature for its forthcoming EQG. That's the electric only G-Wagon. That car will have four electric motors and I can't wait for it to arrive. Spinning around on the spot is one thing, but what about spinning around in the air? Well, check this out. It's the Xpeng Aero HTX3. Yeah, that's a catchy name. Anyway, it's the closest thing to a real life flying car. It actually looks like someone landed a drone on a Hot Wheels car, but this isn't just a scaled down teaser. It's a full size prototype and it weighs almost two tons. But most importantly, it actually flies. It can take off vertically like a helicopter. So you can fly over traffic and land wherever there's enough space to. And wherever it's legal to, obviously. Which probably means you're going to have to fly to an airport. Anyway, the prototype looks a bit basic at the moment. But Xpeng plans to design new rotor arms that can fold up into the shape of a large roof box. This means you can actually drive it around on the road. You know, like a normal car. Obviously, this thing is still a few years away at least, and you can bet it'll cost an absolute fortune if it does ever go on sale to the public. Personally, I think you'd probably be better off with a helicopter and a private chauffeur. But I bet there's probably someone out there who wants to be the only billionaire at the golf club with an actual flying car. The steering wheel hasn't changed for decades. OK, so Tesla and Lexus tried turning it into a yoke, but these do exactly the same job as a normal round wheel. They're just a bit harder to use. But Ford has made a brand new steering wheel that folds flat so you can turn it into a table. It's simple, but also brilliant. You can get it in the new e-Torneo Custom. And because that's an electric vehicle, this new table is perfect for laying your McDonald's takeaway on there while you wait for your car to charge. But Ford isn't the only brand which is trying to reinvent the wheel. Audi has also given it a go. Check out this SkySphere concept. It has a steering wheel that can fold into the dash behind the massive touchscreen. Audi probably doesn't want you to use the SkySphere as a dinner plate like Ford does. You see, you might get greasy finger marks all over that lovely huge screen. A hidden steering wheel isn't the only cool feature in the Audi SkySphere. That car can actually get longer or shorter depending on what you want to do with it. No, you don't need to put any special blue pills in the charging port or anything like that before you start commenting. You just press a button and the whole chassis can extend like a selfie stick. It could stretch out when you want to cruise along in autonomous mode and can even shrink down to make the car more manoeuvrable, say if you're driving through town or on a twisty road and you want it to feel more sporty. But Audi isn't the only car maker doing this. There's also a small EV called the City Transformer. This can make itself thinner to help you squeeze through traffic and park in tight spaces. And when you get onto faster roads, it moves its wheels further out to make the car more stable. 
There was an even weirder car that actually did this back in the 2000s. It was called the Rinspeed Presto. This was a four seat convertible that was based on a Mercedes A-Class, but you could shrink it down to about the size of a smart car to make it easier to park. Just make sure you tell your passengers to get out before you do, otherwise they might lose their legs. But this wasn't the first strange invention to help make parking easier. Back in the 1950s, someone invented a fifth wheel for cars that could flip down under the boot. This could spin the car around in a driveway or help you slide into a gap between two cars. This never really caught on, but at least today you can remotely drive some cars out of tight spaces using their key or an app on your phone. Hyundai, Kia and Tesla all have cars with this feature and you can get it on the new BMW 7 Series and i7 II. But that's not the only cool feature you can get in the new BMW. I'm of course talking about the 31 inch 8K cinema screen you get in the back seats, as an option of course. This thing is crazy. You can actually plug devices into it with a normal HDMI cable so you can play video games on it. Or you can use Amazon Fire TV and stream content online. Or maybe you could just watch your favourite car review channel on YouTube. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to CarWow and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any of these videos. BMW isn't the only manufacturer putting massive TVs in its cars. Volkswagen is also having a crack at it with the ID Life concept. This is a bit different to the 8K screen you get in the BMW. It actually has a projector in the middle of the car and there's a screen that pops out of the dashboard. Obviously, you can't use this huge screen while you're driving like you can in the BMW, but you can fold the front seats away and sit in the back or you can fold all the seats away to create a bed. Great for some other activities. The Rivian R1T is a seriously cool electric pickup truck, but you can get it with plenty of unique accessories to make it even cooler. My favorite is the camping kitchen. It slides out from behind the back doors and has everything you need for a night in the wilderness. There's an induction hob that runs off the truck's battery, and there's even a sink with a four gallon water tank. Damn fancy cooking? Order a takeaway and blast some tunes using the portable speaker that Rivian fits in the center console. You can even get a tent that attaches to the pickup bed. It's the perfect self-contained home from home. This doesn't come cheap though. The camp kitchen, great name that, costs almost $7,000 and the tent is almost $3,000. I think I'd rather spend that money on a nice hotel and some fancy room service. The Rivian isn't the only electric powered pickup truck with cool features. The Ford F-150 Lightning also comes with a fold out desk, but it's a bit weird. You have to push a button on the center console to tuck the gear lever away, then you fold out the center armrest. Why couldn't they just fit the car with some dolls or some buttons to put it into drive and change gear, rather than come up with this odd solution with the moving gear lever? Weird. Anyway, this desk isn't the only work-related thing you can get with the Lightning. It comes with something called the Mega Power Brunk. There are four plug sockets that can run power tools or home appliances, as well as a load of USB ports. Then there's a space underneath the floor with a drain hole, so you just fill it with ice and you can turn your F-150 into the world's biggest mobile drinks cooler. Headlights are pretty simple, let's be honest. You turn them on and you can see where you're going. Some fancy headlights can block out part of their beam so you don't dazzle oncoming drivers, but Audi has taken things a step further, maybe even too far. Its latest headlights can actually project things onto the road, like arrows to stop you wandering out of your lane, or warning signs if the car detects a hazard up ahead. But that isn't its best bit. The forthcoming Audi Q6 e-tron will use its headlights to project video games. Now, I've actually tried this out for myself. It's a great way to pass the time while you wait for the car to charge. Just try not to think about how much a replacement headlight might cost. Anyhow, Audi isn't the only brand with some neat headlights. Dacia has invented something pretty cool for this manifesto concept. So Dacia got rid of one headlight to save money and energy and weight. And it made the whole pod removable so you can also use it as a really powerful torch. The rest of the car is pretty clever too. I like how they made the interior completely waterproof so you can jet wash the cabin if it needs a clean. Speaking of getting your car wet, check out these bonkers inventions. These cars were made by the same Rin Speed company that made the shape-shifting Presto. The Scuba started life as a Lotus Elise, but Rin Speed turned it into an electric submarine with built-in air tanks for the driver. Or should that be the diver? <laughs> anyway, its top speed is only 10 miles an hour. No, that isn't water. But don't worry, Rin Speed has built a much faster amphibious car called the Splash. This isn't a submarine, it's a hydrofoil. This means it floats around like a boat at slow speeds, but has these fins that lift it out of the water at high speed to reduce drag. Okay, so it looks a bit like someone glued some IKEA shelves to a caterer, but it can do 120 miles an hour on land and 50 miles an hour on water. That's faster than many speedboats. 
Anyhow, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. Let me know some other videos you'd like to see. And click on those windows there to watch some more videos. And if you click on that box there, you can get a car wire. And we will help you sell your car. Just upload some photos, give a brief description. And our dealers will bid on your car to make sure you get a great price for it. Thanks for watching.